How's it going everyone? This is not Mr. Tony Stark bringing you another gameplay commentary. This is the Prophet CLP filling in for him. He currently is without a computer. He got one, put it together, set it up. Something about the motherboard didn't want to work with his OS, so hopefully he'll get all that worked out and he'll be back to grinding out YouTube videos for you guys. I know he has a bunch of Let's Plays and stuff like that he's wanting to do, so I'd be really annoyed at this point if I was him not having a computer. I wouldn't. I couldn't imagine being stuck without a computer. Uh, I'd go without a cell phone, actually, at the moment, and that's bad enough. So, like, to take away my other freedom, which would be my computer, would just be, I, I, could, I couldn't imagine. It, it, it'd be devastating, honestly. But anyway, this is a Slums Hardpoint gameplay. It's not even really a gameplay. I, I just kind of pieced it together. Um, the game itself was a little over nine minutes long. I didn't feel like sitting here and making you guys watch that. Uh, a lot of times, if you're set up really good in hardpoint, it can be kind of boring. Because um, you'll have people kind of extended out past the hardpoint in certain areas. Picking up kills, kind of slaying for you and stuff. So, it, it, it's not really the best thing to watch all the time. Sometimes you get really good hardpoint games. And they're really close, really exciting. This one necessarily one of them. Uh, had a pretty decent kill to death ratio and all that stuff. Pretty decent score per minute. Only one person on the team had a higher uh, score than me and only by one kill technically. Um, my friend TF Perform. Big shout outs to him. He's actually on Mr. Tony Stark's SBK team with me as well. He is one of our fill-ins. I do believe this week he will be filling in for Foreign. I do believe Foreign is busy this week and won't be able to play our SBK game. But that's actually kind of what I want to talk to you guys about, is competitive gaming. Uh, as you can tell, this is a league play game. Uh, that's all I really play on Black Ops 2. You really won't find me in pubs. I might go into pubs like once every few days into a ground war lobby and like play one or two games of ground war. But that's really about the extent of my pub stomping anymore. Before I started playing league play though, uh, a few months ago, uh, that's all I did. I just pub stomped, had a really high KD, really high score per minute, really high win loss. That's all I cared about was just as much, you know, KD, 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 and you know, all the, all the stats. All that's all I care about are my stats. And since I've gotten into the competitive side of the game, I really could care less about my stats. And there's a lot of reasons behind that. If you're an OBJ player, Chances are you're probably not going to, you know, if you're playing a decent team, you're probably not going to sit there and go 40 and 20. You're not going to be rocking a 2KD. If you're an anchor, you'd be lucky to get 15 or 20 kills a game. You know, I mean, it's not, when you're playing the game the way it's supposed to be played, it's not actually about statistics necessarily. It's not actually about the KD. It's not actually about the score per minute and stuff. It's about making plays. I've actually won search and destroy games where every person on my team was negative and their team was positive, but we made smarter plays than them, got a couple of really nice bomb diffusers, really nice bomb plants and stuff. Yeah, it's all about it's all about working it. Every game mode's different. The CTF is really about your rotations and stuff. You don't even necessarily need to pick up a single kill and capture the flag to get a flag capture. You can you can make the run and avoid traffic and technically get a capture without having to ever challenge anybody. And and that's my whole point. You know, if you got a really good OBJ player in CTF, you know, he might have three or four flag captures with, you know, a total of 15 kills. That's not going to look like a lot, but in reality, he did a really good thing for his team. But in general, competitive gaming, competitive first-person shooters anyway, are kind of like the little brother on the competitive gaming scene. Um, big brothers being stuff like StarCraft and League of Legends that average, you know, 50,000 viewers on Twitch on a bad day, where, you know, you compare those to Battlefield or Call of Duty that are lucky to have, you know, 4,500, 5,000. And that's, you know, that's a pretty crazy uh, difference in numbers, and I think a lot of people don't realize how different it is different it is and I think that's why it's, it's kind of important that Treyarch put league play into the game and that Treyarch supported the whole competitive esports thing I think that's why it's important that uh, um, Infinity War does it too Call of Duty Ghost uh, their executive producer Mark Rubin already said at E3 that Call of Duty esports isn't going anywhere on the release of Ghost and that makes me feel good I think that is the biggest announcement from E3 but not you know no one's out there making huge videos about that or you know whatever everyone's caught up on the console war still and i really don't care i don't care what console wins the war or whatever that i really could care less i'm gonna play whatever console is on the mlg pro circuit 
whether it be Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS2. If they went back and started playing PS2s again, I, I guess that's what I'd have to do. And that's just me, though. Um, that's and a lot of people probably won't agree with that, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, if you don't agree with that, you're probably not a competitive gamer. And this commentary is probably not even really for you. Hopefully, this commentary and this gameplay will make you interested in it. You know, if you are interested in it, talk to Tony Stark. Leave a leave a comment in the comment section below, asking about it. If you have any questions, you know, there's sites, there's websites you can go to like 360icons.com or the Competitive Gaming Association.com. These sites hold free tournaments and stuff that you can go and play in that don't cost any money. So go and try it out, see if you like it or whatever. But guys, the, this game's coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe. Mr. Tony Stark will be back soon. So talk to you then.